Today we're going to retrofit an existing older style control bracket to the new motor controller board assembly. As you can see, I've already pressure tested the control compartment and removed the control cover. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and just remove the old control bracket like we normally would. Go ahead and remove the pump cable wires, the brown one, the red one, and the black one from the contactor here. I can pull the blue motor wire here off of the contactor as well as the orange motor wire. Go ahead and remove the red start winding wire from the capacitor. Okay, pull up here and cut the butt splice here. Add the thermal protector. Okay, at this point, I should be able to remove the two screws and pull the bracket out. Okay, once the bracket's out, I should be able to pull the yellow and gray motor wires off of the start switch. And the old control bracket is removed. Okay, now that we've got the old control bracket removed, we're gonna to need to do a little bit of prep work before we put the new motor controller board assembly in here. As always, anytime we break a seal, we should always replace the seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these old O-rings off here and put a couple of new ones on. Get a couple right here and make sure we lubricate them well with some Molly Coat 55. So I'll just spread this all around here. We get these all good. And go ahead and put these on. Okay, so now that we've got the new O-rings on, we can go ahead and prep our wires to put the new motor controller board assembly in. Since the new motor controller board assembly will have a different wiring configuration than the old control bracket, I'm going to go ahead and prep these wires by making the following changes. The yellow and the gray motor wires will no longer have to have the flag terminals on them, so I'm going to cut these off and strip these wires back. The blue motor wire will now need a flag terminal on it, so I'll put one onto the blue wire. The red start winding wire will have to have the flag terminal changed because we recommend anytime you pull one of these off that you replace that. The red pump cable wire will have a red flag terminal on it now and the orange motor wire will be terminated into a butt splice. Also, I'll go ahead and cut the butt splice off the black motor wire and strip it back and we'll no longer need a butt splice there. So let's get started with this prep, shall we? Okay, now that our wires have been prepped, we're just about ready to install the new motor controller board assembly, but I just need to clarify something in that previous segment I had said that we were gonna put a red flag terminal here onto this red pump cable wire. Well, that's not true. We're actually going to use the blue one. This is a thicker wire, so we'll need the 14 to 16 gauge blue connector for that one. Okay, and before I install the motor controller board assembly, I'm going to go ahead and hook this ground wire back up to the chassis here. All right, then we can go ahead and install our motor controller board assembly in here. We're gonna use the same two screws that we used on the older bracket to secure it to the casting. Just wanna make sure we line that hole up for the second screw with the notch there on the bracket. Now that the MCB is secured in the casting, we can go ahead and wire it up. It's going to be a relatively simple process. If you notice, we got three wires here that have flag terminals on them. So I'm going to go ahead and take the red motor start winding wire and put it to the start capacitor right there. I'll take my red pump cable wire, I'm going to bring it around here, and I'm going to put it to the common terminal of the relay on the MCB. I'll take my blue motor wire and we'll put it to the normally open terminal of that same relay. Okay, so once the flag terminals are all connected, you'll notice we only have five wires left. We have two blacks, a brown, a gray, and a yellow. If you notice, the wires on the MCB are the same color, so really we just match them up and we use lever nuts to connect them and secure them. So I'm going to take the brown pump cable wire here, slide it in with the lever up, push the lever down, secure it, give it a nice little tug, make sure it's in there good, 
Same thing with the black here. We'll go ahead and push the black pump cable wire in there, secure it, give it a little tug. Black motor wire right here, push it in, secure it, and give it a little tug. And now we're down to the yellow and gray motor winding wires here. So I'll go ahead and slide the yellow in. Once again, lever up, push it down, secure it, give it a little tug. And last but not least, the gray motor wire. Slide it in, lock it down, give it a little tug. All right, so once we get to this point, really all we need to do is just kind of dress this up a little bit because when we put the cover back on, we don't want to inadvertently pinch or crimp any of these wires. So it should dress up pretty nice for us. So I'll go ahead and shove these down here like that. Get everything out of the way. Pull this around, shove that in there. Okay, so once we get our wires dressed, I would recommend that you plug it into your panel and that you bump it real quick just to make sure that everything's operating correctly before you reinstall the cover and pressure test the compartment. That concludes retrofitting an older style control bracket to the new motor controller board assembly for the 230, 240 volt, 60 hertz core.